High school student athletes carry a great deal of responsibility and commitment on their shoulders. Not only do they have to work hard to excel in the classroom, but they also have to display the same type of work ethic and dedication in order to be successful on the field. In addition to their commitment as student athletes, some may also be involved with other activities within their community. For Mark Sylvester and Chad DeRupo, what they do with their spare time outside of Lenape Valley Regional High School is unique to say the least. I mean, it's, it, it's definitely unique and that's a good word for it. I mean, I, a lot of people try to help around the community nowadays and I think that's big for our uh, high school students. But I mean, you know, some people, I know people who are uh, part of the, like EMT squads and things like that. And I, I feel like this is just where I come into place. This is my role and this is what I like to do. I enjoy it. I feel like it's way more unique than others do. When you, when you talk to other people, they're always like, yeah, I did community service at my dad's job or something. I went and like, picked up trash off the road. But you never really hear some kids say, yeah, I'm a firefighter. I go in and like, save people's lives. Like, you never really hear that. This past summer, Chad DeRupo and Mark Sylvester took a five-week course to become certified firefighters. So to go along with their commitment of being student athletes, Chad and Mark were looking to become an important part of their community in Netcong, New Jersey. I think one of the things it says is that we're in great shape for the future. You know, as, as you and I age, you know, we need, we need younger people like this, people willing to give back to the community, people willing to sacrifice, people willing to get involved. You know, how many times you see where people, you know, walk by a tragedy, you know, and, you know, it's so easy to not get involved. And here you have kids, like you said, 17, 18 years old, you know, willing to give up summers, willing to be a firefighter. And, I mean, there's a certain amount of risk, Let, let's be honest, I mean, you know, firefighting is not easy. It's not every day that, that kids that are 16, 17, and 18 years old will give up three weeks of their summer to train to be, you know, at the split moment have to run into a building um, to try to, to, to save somebody or to just respond to a car accident and see what we see on an everyday basis when we roll out, you know, going to fire calls. I do think that some, there are, there are some people that look at them and say, wow, you know, these guys, they're not their, you know, they're not your average high school student to be able to do what they're doing. For Chad and Mark, being a firefighter runs in the family. Chad's father and grandfather were members of the NETCONG department, and for Mark, one of his uncles was a former chief, along with four other uncles who were also firefighters. To give you an example, when I was younger, I remember going to parties and family parties because we all lived around the same neighborhood, it seems like. So, I mean, we'd go to a party and you, you hear those sirens in the background. You walk out front and you see five of my uncles running up the hill. So, I mean, it does, that, that was a big uh, impact on me as a kid. I always wanted to live up to that dream and become a firefighter one day and kind of take on the same role as they did. He would go to the firehouse and he would see my father's picture as a past chief on the wall. And I said, and I saw him looking and I said, do you aspire to be a chief someday? He said, not at this point, how about a firefighter? Well, I'm thinking about it. He says, because I enjoy, you know, everything that I see here. And so there was no pressure for myself. Like at first, like when I was younger, I really like, I thought I don't want to like risk my life like that. But then when I like got older, I'm like, actually I kind of do. And like, I was like, I, I kind of feel like following my parent, my, like my dad's footsteps, my grandfather's footsteps. And like, so that like, it kind of like, helped me into it, but it's really more what I want to do rather than them forcing it upon me. Already friends through football, the experience of training to become firefighters made their relationship stronger. Knowing that they could rely on one another to be at each other's side when times got tough made all the difference. I mean, it, it helps a lot knowing that I was doing the academy with Chad because he was going through the same thing I was between football and the academy. And I, I feel like it did push our uh, friendship a little bit at times, you know. We we're in how many degree, very hot degree buildings, you know, together and we're all struggling. And it does, as much as like, it pushed our friendship, it grew us stronger and closer together. Having Mark there helped me out a lot. Like, going there with someone, like we would able, like after the academy, if, we, if I didn't get what I was doing, I would just call Mark, like Mark, how do you do this? How do you do this homework assignment? How, I need some help. Like, he was always there to help me with this. And also with football, like, well, this is all happening, Mark, you want to go lift or something? Mark, you want to practice a little bit? Like, it balanced either way, because we were both in the same predicament. Like, we both had to like, go through this together. So it made it a lot easier. With the responsibility of being a student athlete, along with their commitment as firefighters, 
Chad and Mark may not realize that they have become role models amongst their peers and to the youth of their community. I don't know if they understand it now. I think they'll understand it later in life when somebody will say to them, hey, you know, you were, you were really an inspiration for me. You gave up your summer. You, you were a firefighter. My parents, my grandparents could depend on you. You know, I, I think you realize it later on in life. I don't know if you realize that it's 17 or 18. I think it's 17 or 18. It's just something you want to do. But uh, th th those kids, you know, their rewards will be down the road.